Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we're going to be looking at wax applicators. What is the terrible time for a mean old man? You got to get to heaven just as fast as you can. A long time I got about the good old day. With a nail and a hammer, got a poor man paid. Living in a whorehouse, sleep with sin. It's a whole lot of trouble and a bottle of gin. Gotta get a hold on a good way to feel. Pushers in the pool to the driving wheel are getting hard on the hand of a long time man. You got to get to heaven just as fast you can. Come on, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I said, Lord, won't you take me down to the river and drown me in your blood? Baby, don't you worry about my soul on fire in the morning. People, can you see my tortured soul? That's the mother devil's love. Riding in the wake of a terrible wind on the crest of a holy flood. So today we're going to be looking at and providing some recommendations on a range of foam and microfiber applicators. Okay, first up, foam applicators, which I'll typically use for applying harder paste waxes. Now, I've got a range of recommendations here, and you can take your pick on which ones you like, depending on what your budget is or what takes your fancy from what I say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the cheapest ones, okay, because as, as always, with any product, there is like a bargain basement kind of offering, and we want to see if they're any good. Now first up, there are two types of really cheap offering out there on kind of eBay and Amazon. And the first one, which I don't recommend, is this kind of very thin um, two-piece foam that's kind of heat melded together in the middle. Reason these are dirt cheap. You can pick up like 12 of them for like, for like two quid or something like that. You know, they're really cheap. And I bought a load of them for when I was doing the wax testing and I just needed lots of applicators. The problem with them is the foam is soft and I don't believe the foam is going to scratch your paint or anything like that but the problem with them is they're too thin and they're too soft and they tend to just roll up in your fingers. They are usable okay but out of the cheap ones I don't recommend those. If you're going to go cheap there is some wax applicators on Amazon and I'll put a link for them in the description you get 12 applicators for £2.50 delivered, okay, or £2.56 delivered. So that is a bargain, you know. The price of that is, what, 20p each, something like that, roughly. Um, and here they are, and I'll overlay shots of me using them. The, the, the foam on them, the foam quality is okay for, for the price, okay. It's not going to scratch your paint. The only downside with these, they're a little bit on the soft side, and because they're quite thick, they can be a bit marshmallowy and move around. They still work, and if you've got a nice oily paste wax, they will put it onto the panel with no problems. And like I say, they are dirt cheap at £2.56 for 12 in the link provided in the description. So next up, we have the WoWo applicator pads. So, so these are from a UK kind of detailing company. They're stamp branded. They're two-piece foam, and they're kind of you know, heat stamped however they, however they get the two bits of foam together. So it's got this little plastic rim around it, which is, some people don't like that, so bear that in mind, but you're not really gonna be using that part of the applicator, you're gonna be using the soft pad. So the difference between these and the, the Amazon kind of cheapo ones, the foam is much, it's much softer, okay, and it's much, um, the pore size is much smaller, so it's a finer, higher quality foam. So that's the WoWo, um, foam applicator. The price on these are five pounds for eight, okay, and the delivery's a quid. So effectively it's six pounds for eight applicators. So for a detailing branded product, that is pretty good price, okay. What is that? That's about, what, 75p an applicator? And they also, they also come in a branded bag as well, which is a nice little touch. So the WoWo applicator pads, um, Good quality foam, a little bit on the soft side. I've heard people say that they're too soft. They work fine as long as the wax isn't dry, okay? If the wax is dry and gripping, they might sort of be a little bit soft and compress too much and roll a little bit, but I didn't notice it when I was testing them. So they are fine, nice quality foam, great price. Next up, we have the wax pack foam applicators. So unlike the WoWo ones, this is a single piece of tapered foam, okay? And the foam quality on these are lovely, okay? Once you get it down the panel, it just glides over it. Really, really soft, really fine, high quality foam. And I think good value for money at a pound each. Don't forget, you've got to pay your delivery on top of that, which is about four quid. So if you're ordering stuff, you know, get some of your other products at the same time to cut down on paying that delivery cost all the time. But great value and great quality wax pack foam applicators. 
Next up, built Hamber foam applicators. Five for five pounds, okay, from the link that I sent in the description. I think there's a delivery cost on top of that, so factor that in again. But first thing to say is good value for money again at a pound an applicator. You know, I'm trying to stick below that with these first few recommendations. Again, the key thing about this, um, it's lovely, soft, fine foam, like, like the wax pack one. Really, really nice, high quality foam. It's a single foam piece, but it's kind of, it's been pinched and um, it's kind of like they've pinched the edging and kind of, I think it's heat, heat sealed to make the applicator round. And if it's round, it's less likely to roll on you, okay? This works beautifully, it's good value for money. They are nice applicators and I highly recommend them. So that's the Built Hamber foam applicators. Next up, larger foam applicators for things like tire dressings, okay? That's pretty much what I use these for. There's two different types of them. I've got a soft one and I've got a hard one. The harder ones are probably the one you want if you're gonna be using these exclusively for tire dressings, okay? The best thing about these is the foam quality is nice again. They're Chinese made. They come from eBay, from ZFE stores, which I get, there's a few things I buy from there because of the price. Here's the thing, 10 of these these foam applicators, and they are quite nice, tough, hard foam that you want for, you want them to be reasonably sturdy for doing your tires. 10 of them for 10 pounds, so they're a pound each. And I think the delivery is an extra pound on top of that, or that might be delivery included as well. Either way, they're roughly about 10 pounds, or say 11 pounds, for 10 of them. So that is a bargain. That's on eBay, I'll put the link in the description from ZFE stores. I think they're called SPTA, um, a hex foam applicators, something like that. You have the hard ones, which I'll put a link for, and these slightly softer ones, these will still do your tires fine, but like I say, the harder ones are a better recommendation if you're just wanting them for tires. You could apply that, you could use these to apply waxes or anything on your car if you wanted to, the softer ones as well, but they're a bit big for getting into the wax pots, if you like, but they're good all round sponges as well. Next up is these kind of tapered cut foam so they've got a handle cut into the foam um, that comes in very useful when you're waxing the side of the car okay um, now these come from a company called fex philosophy we featured one of our towels in one of the videos we did um, and they sell these for four pound fifty for two so 225 each plus your delivery on top of that they sell, sell a nice drying towel as well called uh, professor plush so if you're ordering from them and you want to make the most of your order check out professor Professor Plush drying towel. These are really nice quality foam as well. Um, like I say, when they get up to 225 each, that's about as much as I'm gonna pay for a, for a piece of foam. But um, like I say, these are nice quality. They're probably a little bit more expensive to produce because of the cut, and they are really nice to use. Um, worth mentioning that uh, I got these from Deluxe Auto Detailing, and I'll put a link to them in. They've sold out of them, and the guy can't get any more. But he sells a waffle-based version of this for a pound fifty or a pound ninety-nine, sorry. And he also sells lots of other applications quite cheap. So it's worth checking out his accessories on his site. So this is the Fex. Well, this is actually the Auto Detailing, the uh, Auto Deluxe Detailing one, but it's the same, I believe, as the Fex Philosophy one, which they sell for two twenty-five. A really great uh, wax applicator and good value, I think, at, at about £2.25. As cheap as you're going to get that type of applicator for. Next up, microfiber applicators, okay? I personally tend to use microfiber applicators when I'm applying something which is more of a loose liquid than a harder paste wax. And I'll include kind of liquid, um, liquid paste waxes, if you like, or liquid waxes in that category. So anything that's not a paste wax, I tend to use a microfiber applicator for. So rubber and vinyl dressings, um, you know, sp spray sealants, um, you know, normal acrylic sealants that are a lot kind of easier to work around, all that sort of stuff, I'll use microfiber applicators for. Right, first, first recommendation, you know, your cheap and nasty ones where you just want a load of them that could get trashed, you know, you're going to be using them for areas where they might get dirty. So if, or, you, or if you're just on a budget and you want to get as cheap as you can. These ones are available on Amazon, they are low quality, but I think you get 10 or 12 of them, I'm just, yeah, 10 for four pounds delivered. So that's about 40p each. The microfiber quality isn't great, but if you're not using them on paintwork or you're, you're, you're not overly worried about the quality, 
These, these represent good value, so I'll put a link in for those. So 10 for four quid, 40p each. The next ones I recommend, which are also great quality, um, but great value are the Paragon microfiber applicators. I'll put a link to the Paragon microfiber website. These are 95p each, but you've got to add that on top of that and delivery as well. So say, I don't know, say about what, 120 each, something like that. They are beefy applicators with really nice 70-30, decent quality um, microfiber on them. And for the price, you know, you're not going to get better quality on this. So I went and bought, I think, 10 of these because they were so cheap. Really nice all-round applicators, microfiber applicators. Great price. Next up, we have the Ragmaster um, microfiber applicators. Now, these are £4.25 each. They are expensive, okay, but they are premium. So if I'm doing something on paintwork where I want the softest kind of quality on the paintwork, these are the ones I use. The microfiber that they're using on here feels like the same high quality Korean 7030 stuff that they use in their Eagle. It is so soft, it is so paintwork safe. Um, you know, they are expensive, and with the foam ones, I don't like playing a lot. Um, it's worth having a couple of these in your arsenal. I've got three of them, and uh, like I say, whenever I'm putting sealants down or looser liquids on my paintwork, this is the applicator that I'll go for. In the same vein, Ragmaster also do a sponge version of their Eagle, a square cloth. I'll use this for paste waxes. I used it for the Chemical Guys one in the video the other day. It's great. Anything loose that you can kind of cover over the surface and then spread. You just know that the, like I say, the quality of the microfiber on the paintwork is, is as good as it gets. So um, this, these are 3 95 inch, a little bit cheaper than the round ones but fantastic quality. They recommend they're good for applying onto your wheels as well because you get the pressure from the sponge when you're kind of pushing it into the spokes. So great product. I say expensive, I mean there's some detailing guys selling terry cloth blocks, you know, with the, the cheaper terry cloths for four quid. So even though four quid is quite expensive, these definitely are premium. So I don't have any hesitation in recommending them. Great, great product. The Eagle, um, I don't know what they're called, Eagle sponge blocks, I suppose, but Check those out from Ragmaster. I'll put a link in the description. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. All of the products featured in here have got various links in the description of where you can go and buy them. As always, um, if there's any kind of products out there that are good value or good quality, you know, or, or good value for money, so they're high quality at a good price, let me know because I try and follow up on some of these recommendations. Um, these are the things I use, and like I say, there's a range here of, of very cheap, kind of lower quality, to good value for money, to high end, high quality, but still at a reasonable price. So this is what I use. I'd like to know what you use. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again shortly on the channel. Bye now. Say, Lord, won't you take me down to the river and drown me in your blood? Baby, don't you worry about my soul on fire in the morning. People, can you see my tortured soul? Well, the the devil love. Riding in the wake of a terrible wind on the crest of a holy flood. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.